In this video, we're going to feature this 1966 VW bus. And I guess it's not really a 1966. It was two different years that have been put together to create what we see. Anyway, and it wasn't originally a 23 window either. But it is now. So it's got a lot of unique features as is common with VWs. That's the beauty of these classics is they're very individualized uh, platforms and that gives everybody the distinction of being unique. And this guy's ride will be unique. And if not on the surface, it will in, in total, that's for sure. Let's do a little view of the perimeter here, and then we'll take a look at the interior, which is not complete. And so, this uh, was, you know, converted to this 23 window. Um, and then we've done our part and then next it goes to get an interior so let's take a look at the uh, interior the way it sits now pretty stark inside just got this you know the matting soundproofing and that's about it or sound deadening that proofing It has the sunroof. The interior, I mean the front seats are just for use at this point. This is not what the interior will be when it's complete. They added air conditioning. And so you can see that it's completely lacking interior. What we've done, we've converted it to electric, of course. And this is the front battery pack right here. Let's take a look at the, uh, the dash a little closer, and then we'll move to the engine bay. Well, on the driver's side here. We can get a better look. It has a unique steering wheel. It's out of an old Chris Craft boat. And of course it's got the new modern stereo, but with the vintage look. And so, uh, you know, the air conditioning uh, the cue ball on the stick shift. There's just a few little things. And of course, you know, it's got the Safari kit. Even the windows in the back go out and on the side they'll go out. Um, but as far as we're concerned, um, where the fuel gauge was, we've added the uh, Curtis 840 display. And down underneath the dash, we've added the JLD 404. So when we turn on the ignition, we have a green indicator light that comes on to remind you that the ignition's on. And of course, the JLD 404, I mean the uh, Curtis 840, comes alive. And the JLD 404 shows you that it's got a little bit of a, a load on the pack, 1.3 amps. That's the DC to DC converter. And so we have a, a reverse switch right here for electronic reverse. And then below it, 
we have a coast switch. So you press that button and it overrides the regen and it coasts. And that's it. Everything up here is is pretty much the same. Um, I don't know the same. Same as what? Um, not too uh, adulterated. Let's just say that. And so let's go take a look at the engine bay. That's where we have a few changes. Well, on the way to the engine bay, we'll take a look at the uh, charge port here. It's in the behind the fuel door. And it's the J1772 level 2 charger, charge port. And of course, you have to have the, the little key, VW key, to lock that door. It's also the same key that opens the deck lid here. And so, here's our engine bay. This conversion is powered by the high performance electric vehicle systems AC50 with the Curtis 1238 controller. We have a uh, chill plate on there and it's uh, to cool that controller. There's the reservoir right there. Over here, of course, we got our main disconnect, our throttle, our shunt, our main contactor, our fuse and relay box. We have a 12 volt charge port that's always live. When the ignition's on, that 12 volt gauge is live. It allows you to check your 12 volt system, make sure your DC to DC converter and everything are working. DC to DC converter is right there. Auxiliary batteries in the corner over here. We always hardwire a little trickle charger in since there's always a drain on the 12 volt battery. If the vehicle is going to sit for any period of time, you just simply plug that in. Over here we have the 12.5 uh, kilowatt charger, and behind it, is the electronic compressor for the air conditioning and this is the control board for that and back up in the dark in there we've got uh, the fuse uh, diodes the contactor for the uh, the compressor and we need to leave that area open as much as possible for good airflow and cooling the same as over here. We also kept these tolerances a little more open on this one just to get more air back here because of the air conditioning. So that's an overview of this 1966 VW bus. From here it's going to get a custom interior and it's uh, going to be set up as a camper. So uh, that'll be nice. This is a, a beautiful classic. And now it's, you know, basically fairly maintenance free. It has the ball joint front end on it and it's got the uh, Double jointed, you know, uh, you know, constant velocity joint uh, rear end on it. So it has some other improvements also. And it's got front disc brakes, rear drums. But it's a, a nice, clean little ride. Um, you can see these windows here, they uh, not only pop out here but they also hinge out. You can see the hinges. And so, just a really kind of sweet little ride. 
I mean, most of these windows, the larger windows, all open up, which is nice. So, it, uh, it will make for a nice little camper for somebody. And, uh, we were fortunate enough to have the opportunity to convert it to electric. Always fun working on these beautiful cars. Well, until next time, enjoy the ride. Okay, let's go for a little spin. No uh, seat belts. We're just gonna go in the parking lot here. Don't have plates on the car, no seat belts. So we'll keep it close. When we did our test drive, we kind of went around the block. We won't do that now. Turn on the ignition. My gauges come alive. You can see first gear and third gear are kind of close to the AC unit. We're going to take off in second in the parking lot here. Let's drive in second. The parking brake has also been modified to clear the AC unit. It's kind of a, a reach. Yeah, and then we're going to give her some throttle. And away we go. thing about regenerative braking is that one pedal drivability. got some footage that we can use. I know this wasn't too interesting. We didn't go on a nice long test driver. That's third gear. Around the corner here we'll go fourth gear. Yeah. 
And there we are. Checking my gauge readouts. Everything looks as it should. Move things out of the way, we'll pull her back in. Thanks for coming along.